no matter what, it seems that most days that I go through, um, there is this strange level of anxiety about where, where's my first couple of throws going to go? Where's it going to go? Blah, blah, blah. And it could go good and it could go bad, but fuck. Um, when it starts going bad, you start putting your brain in the schnitzel and then you're like, <sighs> Okay, okay, I, I need to try harder, I need to try harder, I need to try harder, then that's not how the cookie actually crumbles. Let me tell you, that's not how the cookie actually crumbles. Um, there was a day, I'm trying to remember the day, that I felt that I had the best connection, that I felt like the reps were the most consistent, um, and this is kind of what my thinking is now, is that like, whatever I'm doing, it could be a little bit bad, but what can I do consistently? Um, what can I do consistently and what can I do correctly consistently? And then what can I do that I know that I know that's correct consistently? Um, even though there might be some incorrect X and C's uh, that go on um, like today what I was thinking about and you guys can take a look at these throws uh, I was thinking about my left side I was making it leave a little bit too early maybe not staying over that single support leg I don't fucking know I don't know um, but I know it had something to do with my left side and number two it had something to do with the entry I've gone back to the entry over and over and over and over again I bought up the entry um, it matters a lot. It matters a fuck ton. Um, and it goes without being said, but it definitely matters. Um, the thing that was on my mind today was that, like, when you're trying to throw, I think that when you're in your training, you're throwing training, I think that your, your, um, your first wine, your first wines or two or what have you, I think that they're completely irrelevant. And also I think that, uh, your first two turns are to set up the, the rest of the throw, um, and to try to speed up and accelerate the ball on those last two turns. Um, we get too caught up in throwing far. Uh, you get too caught up in throwing far. Um, and I know for a fact that, um, when I've kind of relaxed and realized that what I was doing was incredibly inefficient and forceful, um, I, and kind of took a step back, maybe took a pause between some throws. Um, I was able to, I've been able to, uh, proverbi proverbially dig myself out of the hole. And, um, it's good to be able to dig yourself out of the hole. Um, it also helps to have a coach around that can help you do that for you and dissect certain problems and analyze certain things. But I look very, very up and down on that. And I thought about that during the day. I don't know how to get rid of this up and down this. But anyway, um, even though I don't have somebody around to verbally help me uh, dig myself out of the hole, um, it's good that I can kind of start. I can fix my thinking and get myself there um the thing is is that um you don't get a cookie you don't get a cookie for doing this um what i'm saying is is that you just get a cookie for um like not scratching all three of your throws and then get actually getting your ass into the finals which is what you're supposed to do anyway and potentially without a coach um so that's kind of a hard thing to wrap your head around but the reality is, is that I, I think that at some point, everybody, uh, every thrower has to dig themselves out of the proverbial hole, more or less. So it's a good little lesson to learn. Um, got a little weight room action for you. Um, I can see why. I can see why an Olympic lifter doesn't necessarily do muscle snatches. Um, with that being said. I can also see why I like to do muscle snatches um, and why my assumptions or whatever can help lead me to believe that it could help my throw increase. Here's the problem with my little theories that go on here. I like to talk out of both sides of my mouth, number one. And number two, um, this, this should definitely be started from a hip position. Um, I believe so, mainly, but... Eh, it's always good to have the variations in. I mean, 
I like doing it from the floor as well. So I like, so therefore it keeps me kind of sane. Um, I like doesn't mean that I'm right. I will tell you that straight up and down. Uh, Jay does shit that Jay likes to do for head asseries and um, uh, fairy tales. So um, I like it. I like the movement. Doesn't mean that I'm necessarily correct on my assumptions with it, but you do have to do some lifting. So I did a little bit of lifting, got some things done uh, all the way up to 180 keys on the back squat. So um, did a little sauna um got some things done so i'm gonna get back at it tomorrow so but the pretty girl came up and talked to me at the gym uh didn't have to go looking for her nothing she came up and found juicy j juicy juicy j <laughs> that's all i got guys you already know what the deal is running your toes keep your mouth closed lock your doughs and save your throws and most importantly you live to find another day